On August 10, 2018, Richard Russell, an airport ground service agent, became widely known as Sky King after he commandeered a Horizon Air Q400 passenger plane from Seattle Tacoma International Airport. I found myself in a bit of a predicament. I'm in the air right now. Did you just take off? Yeah. And you're not supposed to be on that aircraft? Uh, no. Russell, who had no formal pilot training, took control of the aircraft and flew it for approximately an hour, performing a series of daring acrobatic maneuvers that astonished both aviation experts and the public. The incident began around 7.30 p.m. local time when Russell, who was 29 years old and had been employed by Horizon Air for over three years, used his access as a ground service agent to board and start the aircraft. His job primarily involved handling baggage and towing planes, but it did not include piloting responsibilities. Despite this, he managed to taxi the plane onto the runway and take off without clearance. Once airborne, Russell's flight path was erratic and unpredictable. He performed barrel rolls, loops and other stunts that pushed the limits of the aircraft's capabilities. During the flight, Russell communicated with air traffic controllers, who tried to guide him towards a safe landing. However, it quickly became clear that Russell had no intention of landing the plane safely. He spoke candidly with the controllers, revealing his troubled state of mind. At one point, he described himself as a broken guy with a few screws loose. Russell's flight attracted the attention of the military and two F-15 fighter jets were scrambled to intercept the aircraft. The jets followed the Q-400 closely but maintained a safe distance, hoping to avoid escalating the situation. Throughout the ordeal, Russell displayed a mix of humor, introspection, and despair. He expressed amazement at the views from the cockpit and apologized to those who cared about him, but he also made clear his lack of intention to survive the flight. I wouldn't know how to land it. I wasn't really planning on landing it. About an hour and 15 minutes after takeoff, Russell's flight came to a tragic end. At approximately 8.45 p.m., he intentionally crashed the plane into the sparsely populated Ketron Island in Puget Sound. The crash resulted in a fiery explosion and Russell perished on impact. Thankfully, no one else was injured, as the island's few residents were far from the crash site. Russell's final words, captured on audio recordings, were a poignant reflection of his state of mind. Just before the crash, he said, I'll go nose down and call it a night. These words underscored the despair that had driven him to such a drastic action. In the aftermath of the incident, many questions were raised about airport security and the mental health of airline employees. The fact that Russell, a ground service agent with no formal pilot training, was able to access and fly a commercial aircraft highlighted vulnerabilities in airport protocols. Horizon Air and its parent company, Alaska Airlines, pledged to review and enhance their security measures to prevent similar incidents in the future. The Sky King incident also sparked a broader conversation about mental health and the importance of providing support to those in distress. Friends and colleagues described Russell as a friendly and hard-working individual, but his actions on that day revealed a deep, hidden struggle. Mental health professionals emphasized the need for better resources and intervention strategies to help individuals like Russell before they reach a crisis point. While Richard Russell's flight ended in tragedy, it serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of mental health and the importance of vigilance in both security and emotional support within the aviation industry and beyond.